third week of Lent, Wednesday. Today's Gospel is from Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. Jesus says, Think not that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Dear brothers and sisters, in the Old Testament, the laws were given by God through Moses to the people of Israel as a part of their covenant. These laws reflect the heart and the mind of God and it is an invitation to them as to how to behave and live if they are to be the people of God. If they want to belong to God, these are the ways they are supposed to live and these are the ways they are supposed to behave. But Jesus takes us one step ahead. If you read further in the uh, Sermon on the Mount, Jesus wants not only purity in life and behavior, he wants us to lead purity in character and thinking. Jesus wants us to have purity in thinking because it is thinking that leads us into action. Jesus takes one step ahead. For him, it is not enough that we do not commit adultery, that we do not murder or we do not take revenge. It is not enough for him. He wants us not to have this sort of thinking even in our minds. He wants us to have even our thinking to be pure. We should not have any evil thought in our minds. That's why in the chapter 5 of Matthew, Jesus concludes like this. You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Jesus invites us, dear brothers and sisters, to lead a holy life and to have holy thinking. During this Lent, let us practice holy actions and holy thinking. Amen. Sorry.